Dr. Adebayo, you are the executive director for the Institute uh, for Global Initiatives. That's correct. Would you tell us a little bit about the Institute? Well, the Institute for Global Initiatives was founded uh, in, in 2003. Uh, you have a way of editing all that out. Oh, well, okay. let, let's do it again. Okay. Uh, because just so, so that you feel yeah, relaxed. I don't know why. And really, don't, don't worry about it. And yes, this is not live. We can edit anything. Right. Okay. So um, let's start again. Okay. Dr. Adebayo, you are Executive Director of the Institute for Global Initiatives. Would you tell us a little bit about the Institute? Okay. The Institute for Global Initiatives was founded uh, in 2003. Uh, it was founded uh, as, a, as a result of a reorganization of uh, international programs at Kennesaw State University. Uh, it began, international programs at Kennesaw State University began so many years ago uh, in the middle of uh, 1980s. However, we uh, decided in 2003 to reorganize the way we do international programs, the way we present uh, global learning to our students, and that created the Institute for Global Initiatives. And since then, mm -hmm. we have also uh, focused more on globalization. Kennesaw has had for many years now uh, a program which looks at a country over the course of an academic year. Uh, would you tell us a little bit about that program? That program began uh, well before my time. It, uh, this year is the 23rd year of that program. The focus on one country is so unique uh, among all institutions in uh, the United States. Uh, different programs, different institutions have programs that focus on issues or on themes. At Kennesaw State, we decided uh, way back uh, in the 1980s to focus our programs on one country and have an in-depth study of that country uh, over the course of an academic year. There will be lectures, there will be uh, uh, film series, there will be exhibitions, there will also be performances uh, around the issues and themes of that country. So uh, this year, for instance, we focus more on a region rather than a country. Uh, we focus on the uh, Atlantic world, which is an opportunity for us uh, to commemorate, uh, I want to emphasize commemorate, uh, the 200 years uh, anniversary of the uh, end of the slave trade. Uh, as we all know, in 1807, uh, Britain abolished the slave trade, and in 1808, uh, the United States abolished the slave trade. So we combine those two uh, events, uh, the 1807 and 1808 events, and create a year of the Atlantic world to connect, not just with the issue of the global interchange of people, but also to connect Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Europe in this big, across this big ocean called the Atlantic Ocean. Does um, a program like that apply just to the students that are in international affairs, or is it open to the entire student body at Kennesaw? Oh, this program is not just open to all students, faculty and, student and uh, staff of Kennesaw State University, but also to the community. In fact, the focus from the very beginning of this year of program has been the community. Uh, which is defined as KSU and the community we serve. And now, because of the uh, new technology and so on, it has actually become uh, the global community. Uh, we want to be uh, available, we want the program to be uh, available free of charge to everyone uh, in the area and free of charge to everyone who could access the internet. Uh, we not only have the lectures, uh, on podcasting. We also have the videos uh, that we are right now editing some of them. Uh, we will have them 
posted on our website where people could actually, who are not at the lecture, could see what happened at the lecture. Do you trace where people are looking from? Uh, for instance, do you have viewers of these materials coming to your website from around the world? Yes, we, we, we don't uh, kind of know who exactly, uh, but we, we try to track uh, just want to be sure that we're not uh, <laughs> we're not snoo snooping on anybody, but uh, we track the numbers that have been right. uh, you know visiting this uh, podcasting website. Uh, but the most significant part of it was actually that uh, the country under study, like last year when we had the year of Kenya, uh, a lot of people visited the website from Kenya. A lot of people listened to and downloaded. Uh, the lectures uh, from Kenya, uh, particularly uh, the lectures by Alima Zrui uh, and uh, Ngugi Wationgo uh, when they came here to give uh, wonderful lectures about uh, Kenya, their country, and uh, you know, Africa in general. In the the, the distinguished historian and also the author. That is correct. That is correct.